How you doing, guys? Welcome. Come on, Mr. Peacock. How are you all doing? We're here on the farm. This is so exciting. We're ready for our new show this year. Come on. Welcome to Mr. Peacock and Friends. I wonder what Mr. Peacock will be doing today. Let's find out, but first I have to find him. Do you know where Mr. Peacock is? Have you guys seen him? Mr. Peacock, oh Mr. Peacock. I'm here. Oh, there you are, Mr. Peacock. We're all wondering what you're going to be doing today. Well, today I'm gonna to show you all about these feathers that I found on the farm when I was walking around doing chores today. I like this feather, look at that, isn't that cool? I bet you don't know, my friends out there, that that feather came from a white peacock. Yes, it did come from a white peacock. I like this feather too. That one is so cool. It's kind of wispy and it kind of flows off to the side. And I bet you didn't know that came from a peacock, did you? I did. I know, Mrs. Peacock, but our friends maybe didn't. That's right. Do you guys want to go see the different feathers that are on a peacock? I do. So let's show them, Mrs. Peacock. Okay. Let's go. All right. Come on, guys. Let's see what the feathers look like. Let's go. These are a collection of peacock feathers that I collected at the end of the season when all the peacocks dropped out their beautiful eye feathers. It is very interesting to see the different kinds of peacock feathers that they have. And most of us know that this is the feather that we really are familiar with. This is the eye feather that everyone loves to have. But there are other feathers that people like to use and I'm gonna show you each and every one of them. The first feather I want to show you is what I call the wispy feather. This feather is this one right here. It is all on the top of the peacock's train. It goes right behind the beautiful eye feathers. And there are many of those. A lot of people like to use those for fishing and I can see why. The next feather I want to show you is this wonderful wispy and flowing feather. There's a lot of them. They come in a lot of different sizes. So if you know somebody who fishes, this is the perfect feather to take the edge of these feathers off and put it on the fishing lure, and the fish really like them. But I like to put them in decorations all around my house and farm. The next two feathers are a way you can tell the difference between an India blue peacock and a black shoulder peacock. This feather here is what I call the barring feather, and there's a lot of those on both the right and left side. You can see that there looks like there's barring and stripes, and they're really kind of cool. This is the one that is in the same spot on the black shoulder, but it is black or a rich bluish color in the sunlight. That's why the black shoulder got its name black shoulder, because the feathers are all black. But the India blue has these beautiful feathers, which are striped or barred. This next feather is what I call the flight feather. It's kind of tannish in color, and there's some on each side of the peacock's wings. And let me tell you, with about 10 or 15 on each side, the peacock can really fly well. This is the feather that makes all the shake, rattle, and roll sounds on the peacock. Can you imagine what that sound sounds like when the peacock shakes its tail and shows its beautiful eye feathers? Well, these feathers are all behind the India Blue's feathers, and that's what makes the sound. Sometimes it sounds like a rattlesnake, but don't be frightened. The peacock can't hurt you. Well, this is my collection of peacock feathers. This is from one bird that I followed all around the farm this summer. Now, you can get your own collection if you have peacocks or know someone who has them, and you can place them on styrofoam like I did, and then you can place them in order. Now, I remind you that the beautiful eye feathers that I have here go right in front of these beautiful feathers that are right over here, and that's the one that shakes, rattles, and rolls and makes all those fun sounds. So, this is how you find out all about peacock feathers. You look at them and you know what makes a peacock so special. 
Now you know all about the different kinds of peacock feathers that are found on a peacock. Aren't they neat? I like these feathers. Isn't that pretty? They are so cool. It's so much fun to walk around the farm all summer long to see them on the birds and then pick them up at the end of the summer when they fall off. And then I can create a nice crowd. Oh no, not yeah. again. Time's up, we gotta go. Oh, do we have to? We gotta go, time's up. Well, if that's the case, then I'll say see you all later. That's right, next time on Mr. Peacock and Friends, we'll see what's happening on the Peacock Farm. Right, Mr. Peacock? Mr. Peacock, where did Mr. Peacock go? I don't know where Mr. Peacock goes, but I guess I'll have to go find him. He must be off on another adventure. So until next time on Mr. Peacock and Friends, I'll see you later. Mr. Peacock, oh Mr. Peacock, Mr. Peacock.